Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to quickly explain the difference between what a operating key is and a control key. In the world of interchangeable core, and this happens to be a Corbin Ruswin pyramid, doesn't matter that it's that. It could be small format, it could be Sargent, Medico, Yale, um, Schlage, for that matter. Doesn't matter. I've got two keys here. One is the control key and the other is the operating key. The only role that the control key has in its life permits you to remove the core or insert the core. That's all it does. You need a key to pull that out. You need a key to put one in. It doesn't operate the uh, cam on the back of the cylinder at all. In this system, in Corbin and in others, it's a, about a 15 degree rotation clockwise. Not every system is like that, but that doesn't matter. A 15 degree rotation clockwise, like small format, is um, uh, what it takes to insert and remove that. Generally, keys are stamped control. This is stamped control. Well, this one isn't stamped anything. It's stamped AA, and I know what that means. That tells me that this is a, um, it tells me it's a master key is what it is. It doesn't matter. But the operating key, an AA would be an operating key. Um, when I insert the operating key, all it does is operate the back of the cylinder. It cannot remove and it cannot insert. So when you're trying to figure out what keys you need, it depends on what function. Do you want to just operate the lock? You want to give someone a key so they can get in and out of that door? Do you want to have someone have the ability to remove and replace cores? That's the control key. So that is the short version of all of this. Everything in this video past here is not necessarily germane to the short definition, but is additional information. If you are enjoying this video, please click thumbs up or like, and also please consider subscribing to our channel. Let's move on to the rest of the video. In major lock manufacturers in the United States and elsewhere, the, the difference between a control key in those different systems, whether again it be Medeco or Corbin, Ruswin, or it be old versions of that stuff, or it be Yale or, or Sargent, or uh, Schlag, or Arrow, or Falcon, or Best, keep naming the names. They all approach the problem slightly differently. Not all of them, but, mo but most of them are... Arrow and Falcon don't approach the problem differently because they cloned the Best small format core, which was patented in the very early 1920s. I think the patent was filed in 1919, and it was granted to Frank Best, in about 1921, just don't quote me on the dates, I was told by someone who, by a, a teacher of mine in the locksmithing universe, who knew Frank Best's son, that what Mr. Best was trying to do, who was a high school shop teacher, believe it or not, he was trying to make one key work different locks, stuff that didn't mean to go together. And what he realized is where he was spending all of his time was disassembling and reassembling the hardware itself. So he moved forward and, in, and came up with the idea of a interchangeable core. And the whole purpose of an interchangeable core is this. I want to quickly, and I got my other one here, replace the core in the housing. So I did that in five or 10 seconds. The reason that that is extremely attractive is you can control the rights and privileges over that cylinder in five to ten seconds. You want to lock these people out and you want to let these people in, you can do that. You change the core. The advantage of the interchangeable core is you can then take the old cores back to your workbench, back to your lock shop, and do the combinating or the rekeying there, not doing it at the doorway or taking those cores and then leaving the door unsecured. <clears throat> so Medico and Corbin and Yale and Sergeant and Schlage and Arrow and Falcon and Best, they all approach how the system internally works a little bit differently. It doesn't matter that they all do it differently, but they all arrive at the same conclusion. There is a special key, or whether it be multi-lock, or 
Um, oh, there's someone else I'm thinking about. It doesn't matter. They all approach it using a different structure, but they all do the same job. One key allows you to pull that core out and put a new one in, and one key just allows you to operate that. The science of locksmithing behind the relationship of those keys is an extremely deep pool for you to dive into. And for some people, it's their life's work studying that material and um, demonstrating proficiency in that material as a means by which to make a living. So it's not something that just people just say, I'm going to be able to key all of this different material and understand how it works. Um, it's, you know, like I said, it's a, it's a career for some people. But for you, you just need to know, listen, I need a control key. Now I understand what it does and what it only does, and that's what I need. Or, no, 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 I don't need a control key. I need just the operating key. We've had people call us and say, hey, these, these locks are broken. What happened? And I'm looking at the order, and I can see, okay, it's interchangeable core, whatever the case is. And the client says, I stuck my key in the cylinder, and I turned, and I next thing I know, the whole handle came off. And well, we talk about that more, and it's not the handle that came off. What they're saying is the whole core came out. The whole core, I'm sorry, I had that right the first time. The whole core came out in their hand, and that's, and if you're a locksmith, you probably aren't if you're watching this. Um, you know, the client looks at that and says, what is going on here? And then we have to talk them through Okay, someone gave you the control key. You need to put that back in the way you found it and go get the other key because that's the control key. Um, so people have gotten that by mistake. If you have any questions on control or operating keys in interchangeable core systems, whether they be small format, which is best, and then it's clones, um, Falcon and Arrow, or it be large format, which is almost everyone else, and then there's full size, which is just a marketing term used by Schlage. It's large format, but they call it full size. And it was a marketing uh, ploy, I believe, in the 1960s, where best was always known as small format. And the marketing from Schlage was, well, do you want the small one or do you want the full size one? And that's just marketing. Um, for what I've been told, it wasn't very successful. Um, and I believe it to be true because best uh, small format cores are deeply penetrated into countless installations, far more than I believe Schlage is at all. And Schlage's system is really great. I actually prefer Schlage's interchangeable core system because it's just faster to pin, goes quicker. Um, but it has uh, limitations that a best system would certainly not have as well. Anyway, like I said, it's a deep pool to dive into. Any questions on this or any other uh, interchangeable core questions, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you. Again, thank you for watching, and if you've enjoyed this video, please click thumbs up, please subscribe, and maybe even send the video to someone that you know. Thank you.